Hey everybody, this is Mandy from Gun Lady Defensive Firearms Training. Yes, it's pretty much the first time I've disclosed my business. Um, I was trying to leave that generic, not that I'm, you know, not proud of what I do. I was just trying to reach out to more people. So I'm hoping that I can put this connection on uh, the site so people can actually hear the responses to the questions that are getting asked. So this week's question was, uh, let me go back. Should you, or are you legally required to inform law enforcement that you're carrying um, when stopped or pulled over and or if you're the passenger? Most of the answers that I received were geared towards the driver. Most were uh, it, either some were yes or no, some went into detail, some went into stories that have happened in their area. Um, go to a resource. Thank you for the people. First of all, thanks everybody for um, putting input into this. And thanks to the folks that actually cited laws or cited websites. Um, one website that came up that I've actually looked at before that I use quite often is called concealednation.org, concealednation.org, and another one I use frequently is usacarry.com, and I highly recommended that one. So out of 50 states, 28 states require if asked, 14 are just a yes, two are no duty, which is Georgia and Maine. And then one is special, and uh, guess what? It was California. And what made California the special one was it went by counties. So if you're in California and you're watching this or listening to this, you need to make sure you understand your county. Um, I could tell you I'm near Sacramento, and Sacramento County requires it. It's on the back of their permits. So if you're in that area, and you believe it's a no for California, uh, look at the back of your permit. You sign paperwork saying yes. So that's twofold. There's a yes and no. There's just a blank yes. Either It's either it's either yes, you have to, or no, it's you're not. Saturday after I did uh, a CCW class, I probably would have answered this information totally different. And... Because some people just get on there and go, no, it's not, I don't have to inform. It's, I have a right to carry, uh, I have this, it's my, you know, it's second amendment and all of that. <laughs> and it kind of irritated me. I'm not going to lie. If you don't know me, I'm just speaking from the heart. And the answer I was going to give back was it's an officer safety. And then I, I really started thinking about that. That's not, that's a statement also. So in this time where we've lost officers to bad people, um, it is an officer safety thing. However, unfortunately, not all law enforcement actually understand the process that good law-abiding citizens have to go through to get their permits, okay? Even if you live in a state, you're fortunate enough to live in a state that allows you to carry without having a permit, you still had to do the right thing, which was be good follow the law, not get arrested for felonies, okay? So, a lot of law enforcement, and not be due to their fault, it's just not um, in their wheelhouse. I think if you actually sat down and looked at a penal code for each state, there's a lot of things to learn for law enforcement. So, what happens is when a law enforcement deals with a particular thing, so if I'm a traffic officer, I deal with traffic. That doesn't include CCW. So they don't understand the process that it takes to get concealed carry. They don't understand the money you've laid down. They don't understand the interviews you may have gone through, the live scan you may have had to go through to get that permit. It is our job as law-abiding citizens to help, inform, and educate. And when I say educate, it doesn't mean crack your window and go, it's my right and I should be able to carry. And that's not what I'm talking about. Part of that education is just hands on the wheel, hand them your driver's license and your permit and tell them you have a firearm or a weapon. They can either say thank you or they can say you didn't need to tell me. And you can go, okay, cool. 
and we can move on. The problem that happens in some of these that I see is that <laughs> law enforcement comes in contact with folks and you don't say anything and unfortunately they discover or they see that you have a weapon on you and after that it just turns ugly. So we're doing the right thing. We're carrying legally. We're not the criminals. And because we're not the criminals, just inform them. Okay? And I know at the end of the day, some people are going to go, no, I'm not going to do that. It's not, I don't have to. And that's your right. But we have to start educating more than just law enforcement. We have to start thinking outside the box. We have a lot of people that want to take our guns away, anti-guns. They want to grab them. I was just reading a new thing that uh, in uh, Oregon, five rounds in a magazine, and you can only buy 20 rounds a month or every 30 days. Here's the thing to think about, folks, is the more that we can show that we're good people doing the right thing, not causing problems, not robbing, stealing with our guns, not doing any of that, the more positive impact we can have on this. I'm very passionate about this. I don't want to lose what I have, okay? But standing around toting and saying it's my right and I still have laws and all, that doesn't solve the problem. We have to educate. We have to put on a positive note. When people ask you, why do you want to carry? Why do you want to put that on you? Why do you even put yourself in that position? The answer can't be because it's my right. The answer has to come from your heart and tell them why. Because I feel the need to protect myself. I can do that. The gun is just a part of my protection, not the end all be all. And, and I think that's where we have got to start going with this process. Granted, there are not a lot of law enforcement that we may come in contact that are working the street that may understand the process. There's also people that have commented on here who say, man, they say, thank you for doing that. As a single woman sitting in a car, you know, getting pulled over by law enforcement, a lot of them have told you, thank you. You should be doing that. So keep this in mind when you're out driving around is that at the end of the day, that law enforcement person only has that much time to make a decision. And with the environment that we're in, we have got to help, okay? You're doing nothing wrong. You've done everything you can. Please don't make it worse for law enforcement or out there. This question was asked on Friday, either Friday night or Saturday morning. We had an officer, I believe it was in Austin, Texas, who got shot on a traffic stop. So if nothing else, think about what that officer is going through and what they get put up with, okay? And if they tell you, thank you, you don't need to tell me, tell them, thank you, have a nice day. So please think about that. Get out and train. Come catch me on Gun Lady Defensive Firearms Training. This is going to be either a weekly or bi-weekly ask questions. Once again, uh, if you have questions, please ask. If you don't want to ask in a public forum, Hit me up on instant message under Gun Lady Defensive Firearms Training. And I got to give a shout out to my girls who hooked me up with this awesome shirt that says, This is a clip, not a magazine. Catch you later.